High inflation is not only squeezing family budgets across America, it's also hitting school cafeterias. That's right. Supply chain disruptions and the rising cost of food are shrinking what's on the menu for students. Scott McFarland visited a Maryland school to find out how lunches have changed this year and what bigger changes and challenges lie ahead. In the cafeteria at Mead Middle School in Anne Arundel County, Maryland, they always follow the recipe. But this year, they're also learning to improvise. They used to offer five entrees a day here, but now it's down to just one. Eighth grader Elijah Lee has noticed what many students nationwide are seeing. We had no more condiments like ketchup and mustard and the ranch, which I loved. The shifting and shrinking school lunch menu. Supply chain disruptions and the spiraling cost of key ingredients has forced school districts to pull back or make substitutions. At some schools, no more hamburgers or chicken patty sandwiches due to problems and the price of buying buns and ketchup. Instead, at this school, they offer more tacos or bunless options and try to navigate a shortage of healthy options like carrot sticks. Our students are very savvy. They know what they eat, what they want. Even the trays and plates have been in short supply. Plates became unavailable. We had to call those manufacturers and develop those relationships to say, how do we best get the trays we need to service our students? A new survey of school districts nationwide reveals 97% of meal programs reported challenges with higher costs, while 98% acknowledged problems getting some menu items, the supplies and the ingredients. In one of America's largest school districts, in Montgomery County, Maryland, the local school system has a central kitchen to cook for all 135 elementary schools. That tray of food I get at lunch, that costs more to make than it did last year. Yes. Significantly? Yes, we are up about 15%, 15, sometimes 20% in inflation rates. Costs of some ingredients are so volatile, many U.S. schools are now making last-minute changes to the monthly menu which used to be set in stone. So we are down to weekly menu planning, and our families and even our students and staff are not used to that. Costs are poised to rise again for U.S. schools July 1st, when an emergency measure enacted at the start of the pandemic expires. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, which has been offering schools $4.56 reimbursement for every meal served, will reduce that reimbursement to pre-pandemic levels, closer to $4.00. We could be losing about $700,000 a month in reimbursement, and that's huge. You know, that's going to be a big hit for us. There are proposals here in Washington to extend those higher reimbursement rates to help schools weather this storm. When we were in nearby Montgomery County, Maryland, we saw them taste testing vegan sauces and vegan soups for schools. Those items are actually easier to procure right now. Nate, the schools are navigating trickier menus and tighter budgets. That's right, Scott. We appreciate you. Got to help these kids learn. Full stomach does help, you that's for sure. Learn on an empty stomach. <laughs> you can't learn on an empty stomach. All these stomach. years later. Yeah, All my options were tater tots and fish sticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that no was doubt. it. You and me both, Gil. <laughs>